Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. If almost everybody died in Mass Effect 2, and we're down in sick bay because we now have a doctor, and this is Dr. Michelle that we picked up at the Citadel at Huerta Memorial. And let's see what she has to say. I've never had Dr. Michelle on board, and of course, Dr. Chakwas died in Mass Effect 2, so this is her replacement. Hello there, Commander. How are you settling in, Doctor? Good. Paddock left his lab immaculate. He did seem organized. It's tragic that after all that effort, he and the female Krogan were both lost. Anyway, now that you're here, I'd like to examine you. Well, only the female Krogan was lost. If you saw... Is it the last episode? I believe it was. That uh, he actually faked his death. All right, so why? Do you have concerns about my health? You have an extensive number of cybernetic implants. I died. Cerberus spent a fortune bringing me back. I know. I just want to make sure everything checks out. It'll take no time. Is this really necessary? After Cerberus, I'm not much on medical exams. No needles, right? You get shot 20 times a day and a pinprick makes you nervous? I just need to run some implant diagnostics and take readings of your immune system. Your immune system is still a bit at odds with the foreign material. For your scarring to fully heal, you'll need to lower your stress levels. Yeah, right. Let compassion guide your decision-making, and the peace it brings should help you heal. Thank you for indulging me. Everything looks fine. May I help you at all? Uh, let's ask about her family. I've never gotten a chance to talk to her outside of the original Mass Effect. Do you have any family? My parents are on Earth. Geneva, the news isn't good. I'm sorry. But my brother is safe on the Citadel. I'll count my blessings where I can. Miss the Citadel? How does working on a military vessel compare to your Citadel clinic? It's a completely different experience. I like that I have fewer patients under my care. I can really focus and get to know each person. But the workday never ends here. I don't get to go home. I'm always on call. <laughs> but you're making a real difference. So by being here, I'm making a difference too. Wow, always on call. I'm so sorry. Let's ask about medical supplies. Do we have enough medical supplies? Luckily, the Med Bay was one of the first areas the retrofit team stocked. That's fortunate. Who knows how long we'll have to be self-sufficient. All right, thank you. Just let me know if you need anything. I will. Okay, so it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fix the scarring on the face. Her medical advice is to reduce stress. So I don't know if she'll come up with something a little later on in the game, but I'm not happy with that diagnosis. But that was Dr. Michelle. And now... We should be able to head to the Citadel. Oh, we're already here. Look at this. And see what impact more deaths may have caused. Let's dock at the Alliance docks. Zakaro Control, this is SSV Normandy. Are we clear to descend? Zakaro Control, this is Normandy. We're headed to Bay 1-4, Zakaro Ward. Are we clear to descend?
What the hell's going on down there? Even if there were a station malfunction, they'd have backups online. I got a bad feeling here. Checking emergency channels. No. No, 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 no! What have you got? You're gonna want to hear this, Commander. Emergency message playing on loop from a comm tower. To all incoming ships, the Citadel is under attack. Do not attempt to land. Cerberus is controlling all docks. Notify the Citadel fleet. Send reinforcements to CSEC headquarters. If that falls, the station falls. That sounded like Commander Bailey. Where do you want the Normandy? Since she can't dock, we'll deploy in the shuttle. Get us in near CSEC headquarters. Aye, aye, Commander. All right. We have our same crew. I wonder if I should take Edie. <laughs> I'm going to have to spec her. Yeah, I don't know what all these different outfits look like. Alright, let's give it a try. Alright, same weapons for Shepard. Wow, it skipped the armor. It didn't even give me a chance if I wanted something else, okay. Um, is this Liara? Same for her. And we have Edie. Let's see, I guess I'll give her a Hurricane too. And a Predator. And let's see if there are any mods. Right, high caliber is good. Do high caliber on that one as well. Okay, we have six points to spend. I'm gonna put it in incendiary ammo, I think. Well, out her passives. Tech damage. Okay. Delay in shield recharge. Oh, let's have incinerate. radius this time and I make want to make sure we get overload in here too chain overload recharge speed and chain overload again okay and I guess we'll just put what two points in the defense matrix so she has a little bit of uh, shielding and Liara, we will put a point in warp damage. Let's go. Let himself get surrounded. Okay, people, coming in hot. Get to cover. Understood. 
All right, cryo ammo for everyone. Let's go. Uh, Liar, I can't, okay. Overload on that turret. Thank you. Liara, some warp. Thank you. Singularity. Overload. Watch out. Stasis. Let's through this grenade. Good thing my reflexes are just that fast. Nice. Anybody else? Oh, nice jump. Nice combat roll. Yes, I'm here, Bailey. Bailey, how bad are you hurt? I'm all right. It looks worse than it is. About time some cavalry got here. Is this the situation everywhere? Are the counselors even alive? They split up. I'll know more if I can access the terminal inside. Can you get us in? I'll get the door. If no one interrupts me with a bullet this time. Here we go, CSET network access, courtesy of Cerberus. How's that gonna help? Cerberus has control of the main channels, but I can set up a new one. Without it, our people have no plan and no chance. Hello. What have you got? A warning from Counselor Ashiel. She's supposed to be here meeting with the Executor. This move may provoke retaliation. Well, that's an understatement. If she's inside, she's in trouble. I don't believe this. The counselor's in there, surrounded by Cerberus? Who put together that security detail? Well, until an hour ago, this place was as safe as it got. Nobody expected something on this scale. We need to find the counselor and get her out of here. She has got to know more about who's behind this. The executor's office is defensible. She may have gone to ground there when the shooting started. I'm on it. Just a sec. There. Now we can talk by Omnitool. Go. All right. Off we go. I guess we'll use a stasis bubble on him because I don't ever get enough stasis bubble. Incinerate on him. Oh. Oh, took his head clean off. You know, that's nothing to cheer people. Thank you, Liara. Mm. Look at that, that headless body floating in a singularity. Stasis bubble. I didn't mean that. 
Warp the thing. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Edie. Troops in the lobby. They were dug in. I can see more through the cameras. They're all over the station. All right, assault rifle piercing mod two. Other gun back. Let's throw in a save. Can never be too overconfident. Huh. Singularity. Overload. shot. Are there more? <laughs> I'm telling you, the soldier is just so overpowered. Adrenaline rush. I mean, it's just, it's too much. Slowing down time. Increasing damage. We picked up a recon hood. M76 Revenant. All right, this is what I've. This is the gun when you were a soldier in in Mass Effect 2. I mean that gun. Jeez, it, it was just. I see Cerberus doesn't care about its victims dying with dignity. Hmm. It was just way, way powerful. I might give this one a try. I know it's been nerfed though. I I think I. What was I used it in multiplayer and it just did not have the satisfaction. Is there anything over here? Ammo? The satisfaction of the gun when it was in Mass Effect 2, just like the Matok. Stasis bubble? here. Extended Barrel 3. <laughs> Keep hitting the wrong button. Okay, and here we are in our elevator. Barrel two. It's too soon, Liara. You did not say that. It is too soon. All right, we get some credits. Uh, singularity. Incinerate. was like the human torch right there.
Right, more credits. Lisa. Mm. Golly, it's amazing how those heads just come off like ripe melons. Who is over here? Alright. Stasis bubble. I didn't want to have to do it. Alright. Sniper rifle piercing mod. And what do we got here? More... Experience. Let's go. So this is going to be a crucial part here. Um, Thane is dead. Oh my gosh, the guy, Kirahi, Captain Kirahi, is not in this gameplay. Presumed dead. So those are the, the two people that I know come to the rescue of this counselor. So with them not in the picture... I can only imagine what's going to happen next. Bailey, looks like they got the executor and two Solarian bodyguards. Damn. All right, keep searching. If you don't see the counselor's body, don't count her out yet. Found her. She looks unharmed. Get her somewhere safe. Don't even think about it. He's going to kill us all. That remains to be seen. I mean Udina. He's staging a coup. The other counselors are headed for a trap. Three on one, pal. It's over. No. No, it's fun. Oh. Dad, I figured as You're much. gonna pay for that. No one to save her. Shepard! The counselor! What the hell's going on up there? An assassin. He's getting away. He must be going after the rest of the council. Get the word out. Odina's trying to seize power. I've got to get to the counselors. They're being taken to a shuttle pad on the Presidium. Start driving. I'll try to raise them on the comm. I've got a fix on the council's position. I'm sending it to your car. Good work, Bailey. We're almost there. Ooh.
level 44. Any luck contacting the council? Negative. Their guards are dead. But we've still got vital signs on the council's transponders. Where are they going? The shuttle pad above Shalmar Plaza. Houdin is with them. If he can get them in range of that assassin, this is all over. Hmm. <laughs> Does stasis bubble work on, uh... I would sit. Oh, it might. Sorry, Phantom. Couldn't have happened to a more deserving person. All right, let's keep moving. Overload. Stasis bubble. I'm not gonna take your. Oh, she ran right into the stasis bubble. Another bubble. Stasis bubble is kind of cruel. <laughs> you come to think about it, it's like, you know, you're Stasis rendered completely immobile. And then, you know, you you could just be gunned down. Badly gunned down. Good battle. Can't even see it. Okay, it's down. Wow. some help from my friends. I don't know what kind of explosion you would call that. That was frost and fire. Threat neutralized for now. Incoming phantoms. Where are 
kind of thing. All right, stasis bubble, Liara. Liara, thank you. He's with Cerberus. Put away the weapon. You don't want this to get ugly. <laughs> You're talking to the wrong Shepard. Sure I do. Trust me, that bastard has it coming. Yeah, that bastard is one of the last human leaders in Citadel space, Commander. Would I do this if I weren't dead certain, Caden? Would I? Odina's behind this attack. The Solarian Counselor confirmed it. My evidence suggests otherwise. Observe. Here is Counselor Eshiel being shot in CSEC headquarters. Here is Commander Shepard pulling the trigger. Oh! You have to pay for that. Wow. What more do you need? Shepard. There are Cerberus soldiers in the elevator shaft behind us. If you open that door, they'll kill you all. What Shepard says is possible. Unlikely, but possible. We don't have time to debate this. We're dead if we stay out here. I'm overriding the lock. Shepard, look at us. This can't end well. Just put it down. <laughs> I won't. Ball's in your court. Open that door and the council's dead. I might regret gunning you down for the rest of my life, but I will do it. Udina, step away from the council. To hell with this. He's got a gun. Oh no, he's dead now. Get the council back and cover that door. The door! Bailey? Made it as fast as we could, Shepard. Looks like you uh, took care of things. Then it's true. We were in danger. But I don't understand. You said Cerberus was right here. Cerberus was right here, but they beat feet into the Keeper Tunnels when they figured out we were coming. Sorry, Counselor, I'll say it plain. Shepard just saved the lot of you. Then I owe you, Shepard, for our lives and for brokering a deal with the Primarch of the Krogan that I never could. Hmm, it's about time. Too bad it took this to get you on board. We will not make that same mistake again. Shepard. Do you have any idea why Cerberus would do this? Honestly, no. 
but I plan to find out. All right, people. Principals are evacuated. We got a tunnel and a million more places to secure. Move it. Yes? Things didn't go as planned. The Council's still in control of the Citadel and Udina's dead. Udina was expendable. Now what? There are other plans in motion. I'll fill you in when you return. I'm surprised you let Shepard get the better of you, Ling. It won't happen again. Hmm. We'll see. We looked over every centimeter of those tunnels, Shepard. Your Cerberus pal is made out of smoke and mirrors. People don't just vanish. These are tunnels, right? Just one exit and one entrance? No, that keeper tunnel from the elevator lobby led into the superstructure. Once you're in there, the place is like an ant farm. We can't even get an ID on him. He released a VI into the Citadel system that erased footage of him wherever he went. Probably the same VI that got doctored footage of you to Udina so fast. Whoever this guy is, he's a pro. He's as mortal as anyone else. He'll make a mistake. I hope I'm there when it happens. We lost a lot of good people today. Speaking of, I need to go check in some wounded. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Okay, so we end... The Cerberus coup here on the Citadel. And by my recollection, I think we only have two more what ifs left. That's what if Miranda died and what if Jacob died. So, until next time, you'll be back. And this this is just gonna be a short little series. As I said earlier on, you know, I'm not doing a full walkthrough, it's just a what if characters did not make it to Mass Effect 3. Alright, so until next time, this is Hill, and I'm out.